Hey everybody, I'm going to do a quick tutorial here to show you how you can easily select the 10 images you want to turn in for your assignments and then batch, rename, and resize them all in one place. So if you've read the syllabus, you know that each week you need to turn in 10 to 15 images and they have to be renamed and resized. You're actually going to be receiving 10 points for each assignment just on whether or not you followed that instruction. So it's really important that you do that. The reason that I've asked for 10 images is because I want to see that you've gone out and shot a lot and really tried to get creative about how you utilize these new techniques that we're learning in an intermediate photography class. I ideally would like to see that you've gone out and shot on at least two days or more than one occasion for each assignment. We really learn more as we shoot and especially as we apply these techniques in real time. So that's why I've asked for 10 each week and I know it can kind of seem like a lot, but um, it's really going to be helpful and you can even send as many as 15 and as far as renaming and resizing them because it is a larger number of images. It's much easier if you do that as a batch. So the software that I'm going to use this tutorial um, use in this tutorial is Lightroom because I know you have been using Lightroom in your previous photography classes and you all should already have had an introduction to this software. I've already gone ahead and imported my 10 images and they're still raw files. You can see down here they're CR2 files, which is from a Canon DSLR. So from here, once I've selected the 10 images I want to submit for class, I've gone through and done any developing, any cropping, any changes that I want to do in Lightroom. Then I can go and select my 10. I'm holding shift and clicking on the first and last image, and then I'm clicking export. And this dialog box will appear. Some of you may be familiar with this. So in this case, this is just a review. And this is probably the thing you're gonna do the most as a photographer with your images. So it never hurts to um, review this. And if you have your own system that you like to use, that's quick and easy for you, you're welcome to use that. But for anyone who hasn't done this, I just wanted you to have an introduction to a way to simplify your workflow. So the first thing you have to do is decide where these pictures are gonna be saved. So I'm gonna choose desktop and I'm gonna select, put in a subfolder that I have named test for resizing, renaming. The next thing you're gonna do is rename them. And so you may have to select this box on your computer. Custom name sequence is the one you want to select from this drop down menu. And then as per the syllabus, you choose your last name and the name of the assignment. So say it was white balance, I'm just gonna put WB. If you wanna abbreviate or shorten the name of the weekly assignment, I'm gonna know um, what it stands for. And then you wanna start with number one and that's it for that one. So you see this is what your file name is gonna look like here and that's great. Skip video and go to file settings. You need to convert these from the original to JPEG. So select JPEG, you can leave this at 100% leave the color space at Adobe 1998. The next box that we're gonna use is image sizing. So you're gonna select, if it's not already selected, resize to fit on the long edge. You have options here, so make sure it's long edge. Choose 1200 pixels on the long side and set the resolution to 150. That's what's gonna compress this JPEG to something that is uh, the right resolution for viewing on a screen. If you were printing this on paper, you'd want it to be 300, but we're not, so it's okay to do this. And remember, this is making a copy. It's exporting a copy of your original. Your CR2 files or your Nikon RAW files, those are gonna stay RAW files in your original folder. So you're not diminishing the quality of image, any of your images. And you click export here. I have already practiced this and wasn't recording, so I'm just gonna go ahead and choose over it. You won't see that box. It's just asking me because I made a mistake and I'm doing this video for like the fourth time. So here in the left, you see that it exported and that's gonna disappear when it's finished. And I'll minimize the screen for Lightroom and I'll show you here. This is the folder and these are the 10 images and their last name, assignment, and numbered and then you could select those 10 and go into um, the the Moodle site and upload those for your assignment. So I hope you found that helpful and um, if you have any questions about anything you can let me know and like I said if there's another thing you already do that's easier for you of course you can use that. I just wanted to give you a simple technique uh, a simplified workflow for batch renaming and resizing images that are all going to be the same.